episode three already. You know, I'm doing these videos to really highlight that regular people can do things that, that most people think is impossible or too hard or whatever excuse you have this week, like watching, you know, some stupid TV show or whatever your excuse is. With time and effort, the drive to learn, you really can do whatever you want. You can even build an airplane in your garage. This week I did get some flying in and I helped several people work on minor aircraft repairs and I've been working on my EAA, Innovation Prize Entry, doing Instagram stories, check the show notes for the link, running my local EAA chapter, and doing some research on engines since I haven't chosen one yet. I think I've got the engine narrowed down to one or two and I'll do a video on how I came to choose the engine because that's pretty complicated. Putting the rear fuselage sides together went fairly smoothly. I definitely needed another set of hands, so my wife got roped into this one. It's pretty tricky to get these two together because the L angles have to go on one side of the Longerons and the skin on the other. Getting one side wasn't too bad because I could reach over, but putting the second one on probably took 10 minutes because I really had to try and reach around and get everything set just right. I really kind of need longer arms or something. And boy, does this seem like a lot less effort on time-lapse than it felt like in real life. Anyway, we got lots of cool news coming up, and this isn't the only project I'm working on. I mentioned my EAA Innovation Prize, and I've got a new company that I'm um, forming. Don't forget to hit subscribe, and we'll see you soon. And isn't it awesome that it's starting to actually look like an airplane? Have a great day, everybody, and don't forget to chase your dreams.